Yo, 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 welcome back to Dawn Fans United, the platform for Dawn Fans. You heard me. We back in here. We are doing a recap of practice number seven and eight. Okay, seven and eight. That would be today's practice and yesterday's practice. All right, Thursday, Friday. <sighs> Two ain't been looking that good the last two days, okay? And I got I got a little bit of a problem with that. Now, I'm not going to do a full recap of all the plays or the plays I remember anyway that stood out to me. Uh, I'll, I'll point out a couple guys, but I just really want to talk about Tua's last two days because, and I, I mean, guys, the city's not on fire, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not... I'm not trying to preach panic yet or press the panic button or have anybody, you know, doubting his abilities or anything like that. I'm not trying to do any of that, okay? I'm not. I really, I promise you I'm not. But it's something that we need to keep our eye on, okay? Because, and I'm going to tell you why, all right? We know pretty much at this point what Tua isn't, okay? Um... We know he's not a cross-body, uh, a 60-yard dart thrower, okay? We know he's not a Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson, athleticism-type guy, speed-type guy. We know he's not your typical gunslinger, okay? We know those. We know what he's not. What we are hoping he is is a Drew Brees type guy, a Russell Wilson without as much of the arm stream type guy, a guy that can maneuver well in the pocket, rarely takes sacks, Tom Brady type guy, a cerebral uh, um, player with his mind in game, all right, looking off safeties, doing the little things, body manipulation, those type of things, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, accuracy, anticipation. Okay, Drew Brees. That's what we're looking for. All right. That's what we're hoping he can be because we already know what he what he isn't. All right. So we're hoping he is those things. Mainly his niche should be accuracy. All right. Brian Dayball said Tua has keyhole accuracy. Okay. So that means he should be accurate. All right. He should be accurate. That he should be accurate. That's what he should be. If you know Tua to be anything, accurate should be the first thing out of your mouth. We have been getting accurate the last two days. All right. We have not been getting that. We've been getting Tua, I'm not Tua, we've been getting Tannehill and Chad Henney fever just spraying the football everywhere. All right. We've seen that for years. We know what it looks like when a quarterback's not as accurate as you would want him to be. Tua doesn't have the luxury to not be accurate and to not have anticipatory skills to lack for the, the, the I, I want to say it correctly, he doesn't have a stronger arm like a guy like um, Allen has, okay? So when he's stepping back to throw, he can't throw late. All right, when I say anticipatory, I mean, he can't throw late. He just can't throw late. He's got to be able to either throw early or on time because he can't throw late because he doesn't have the arm to throw late, nor does he need the arm to throw late. He needs to just throw on time or anticipate and throw early. Okay, that's what he needs to do and do it with accuracy because he can be more accurate than a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL can be because he has that innate ability. He was showing that early on in, pre um, in, in um, training camp. Last two days, he's been, and today more so than yesterday, but last two days, not last two days, sorry, not yesterday, by the way, I said yesterday, but I did mean Wednesday because they were off on Thursday, all right? So if I said yesterday, which I know I did, I meant Wednesday and then Friday. Let's clear that up. He was not... As bad on Wednesday as he was on Friday, but it was still not as good as we're accustomed to 
from a Tua uh, um, led offense. All right, we need him to be on time. We need the ball to be out front. I mean, I understand, guys. It, it, I'm not saying that he's going to be perfect. I'm not saying that. All right. But what I am saying is Tua doesn't have the latitude or the leash to not be accurate. Okay. That's his niche. He has to be accurate. All right. Let Tua and his inconsistency be ball placement, all right? That's what I want to see from Tua. I want a bad Tua day to be, man, that ball wasn't out front like it always is, all right? That's what we need to move on to. That's the graduation level. When Tua's ready to take the next step, it's going to be when we're nitpicking only his ball placement because that ball is going to be caught for a completion if the guy's open and if the guy um, catches the ball. Like, we don't need it to be where the wide receiver's right here and the ball is way out the frame. Like, that's what was going on on Friday. That's a problem, okay? When your quarterback can't even give a wide receiver an attempt at catching the ball, whether he's sailing it high like he was doing or whether he is overthrowing, or whether he is underthrowing, allowing the DV to get back into the play like he was doing on Wednesday, or whether he's just throwing it left or right too wide for the wide receiver to make a play on it, that can't be to his game, all right? Because there's nothing else to compensate for that, all right? He doesn't have the crazy throws where he can do the oh my gosh plays, all right? He doesn't have that. What Tua is, is a quarterback that's supposed to have keyhole accuracy, He's going to get the ball out front every time. He's going to make sure he anticipates. He's going to get the ball out to his receivers so they can make plays. That's what Tua is supposed to be. That's what we need Tua to be. I'm cool if that's what Tua is because you can win a Super Bowl with that. Drew Brees did it. Peyton Manning did it when he had one arm. Pretty much no arm with the Broncos. So I don't have a problem with that. And it takes time. I understand anticipation. It takes time learning the offense, learning the players, and then they become second nature. I know Marvin Harrison, there's stories of Marvin Harrison and Peyton Manning throwing at night, okay? And Peyton being able to throw, close his eyes and throw the ball because he knew exactly where Marvin Harrison was going to be at. Didn't matter, all right? He would just throw it, and boom, he knew it was going to be there. Uh, the, uh, Marvin Harrison knew the ball was going to be there. And it was perfect timing, okay? Tua will get there, all right? Tua will get to where he's reading all um, of the defense. He's seen every defense he needs to see, and he knows exactly where he's going with the ball because he has the advantage. He'll get there because that takes time, okay? But what we need to see for now is accuracy, all right? Although the anticipation still needs to be there, although and, and I understand it's something that grows over the years, accuracy. Tua's got to, he's, he's going to have to be accurate, okay? That's his superpower, being able to put the ball where no one else can. And I don't mean out the frame where the quarterback, I mean, the wide receiver can't catch it either. Tua has to be better there. Now, Tua did have some decent plays. He threw some touchdowns both days. We're going to see some good, but we need to see way more good than bad. And that's just the plain and simple truth. Let's talk about the running game. Running game hasn't been promising when the pads came on. Let's just be honest about that. Since the pads came on, we've had like one or two or three good runs out of practice for a team that's running the type of scheme that we're supposed to be running, where you're supposed to be able to run left and right with whoever you put back there. That's a problem for me. All right we got to be able to run the football a little bit better than what we've been doing. Now, I'll say this. If, in fact, the scheme is working, because there's always two sides to the coin, and it's just that the defense has gotten way better against the run, I'm cool with that. 
But we're only going to know that in preseason when we come up against some of these teams and we're able to run the football like crazy against them. Now, if we're able to run the football against everybody else but our own defense, cool with that. But that better be what it is. We better not be getting gashed by every other doggone team and then we can't run the football when we brought in a coach that's supposed to change the culture running-wise, okay? That better not be the case. Now, if we just can't run against our own defense because they stopping everybody else, I'm cool with that. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to be. In practice, we just can't run the football because our defense just got that real at it. All right, stopping the run. I'm cool with that. But that's what it better be. Better not be because these doggone offensive linemen can't get it together. It better not be for that. Better not be because these running backs can't pick up the scheme. It better not be for that. It better be because the defense has gotten way better at stopping the run. Granted, they were okay at it last year, but they must have gotten way better because this scheme, you're supposed to be able to run the football way more than one or two or negative yards. And that's a lot of what we're getting lately. Now, I will say the defense is doing their job, okay? But come on now. Come on now, all right? Now, let's talk about the offensive line when it comes to pass blocking. It's been atrocious. I don't know what else to say about that one. Teron Armstead is the only guy that can save this, okay? Because what we're seeing in practice, that ain't going to cut it. What we're hearing, that ain't going to cut it. We're talking about a quarterback stepping back and he's getting like y'all saw some of the clips, right? Hike, one, two, pressure, sacked. Like there's nothing you could do there. You could say the quarterback should have found so and so. At the end of the day, if you got pressure in your face, it's kind of hard to look downfield. All right. <laughs> That's anybody. You got pressure in your face. It's kind of hard to look past that. They're in their face in two seconds. That's not going to cut it for me. We got to be better. All right? Team got to be better on this one now. Come on now. What are we doing? All right? We, we're supposed to be better against the run. Supposed to be get better against the pass. We're not. We're supposed to be get better against the rush. Sorry. We're not. We're supposed to be better running the football and against, and against the pass rush, and we're not doing that. We're not. We're getting blitz, 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 pressure, 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 sack, 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 and that's all what we need to see. We need to see a little bit of both. We need to see a lot of the time they can't get as much pressure, and then some of the time they're getting pressure. All right? It needs to be a give and take. Right now, defense just taking. They're taking them cookies, man. Like they just, They're just taking whatever they want. Like, we, we offensive line got to step up. It got to be a little bit better. Let's talk about some of the wide receivers real quick. Izukama, he's balling out. Sanders, he's balling out. Uh, um, Sherfield, balling out. Tyreek, you already know. Those guys right now, and I'm leaving one out for, on, on purpose and for a reason, are balling out. They're doing what they need to do, and I believe that they have a good chance of making the team because, boy, these guys are actually doing what they need to do. They're catching the football. They're getting the open downfield. They're doing all these type of things. There's two guys I left out that I haven't heard too much from, but one of them is... is a little bit more than the other. Cedric Wilson, honestly, I haven't heard his name too much. All right? I understand he's supposed to be the slot guy. I understand that nobody else can really play his position. Omar already um, put, uh, reported that. But Sanders, Izukama are outplaying him right now. The other guy I want to talk about is Jalen Waddle. All right. Last year's first round pick. Not that he's been bad. He's just been a little inconsistent when it came to, it comes to catching the football. He hasn't been getting open as often either. That's a little bit of something to look at. We got to see what happens tomorrow in practice. All right. Now, I'm not going to get too bad on Waddle just yet. There's still plenty of time, but 
I would like to see him catching the football a little bit better because he dropped some gimmies on Wednesday. All right, some, some balls he should have caught, he dropped on Wednesday. I just want to see a little bit of improvement there. What I need to see from Tua, ball placement, I'm not as much worried about, but I would like to see that be a little bit better. But definitely, he's got to be accurate enough to get the ball in the vicinity of the player, and that's whether the defender's there or not. Because he's he's supposed to be an accurate quarterback, so that ball should be right on the money most of the time, more way more often than not. Also want to make sure that he's getting the ball out front on the deep ball. All right, It shouldn't be on the receiver. It should be out front. Okay, This throwing the ball on the receiver deep, I'm not with that. Put the ball out front like you did for Tyreek Hill when the pads wasn't on. Now, if it's, if the, if it's the pads, figure that out. Okay, figure that out. But the ball needs to be out front. Let's get the ball out front, and we'll have a little bit better uh, play there. And then let's make sure that we're getting those wide, we're hitting those wide receivers where we're supposed to be hitting them at because that's your niche. Your niche is accuracy. Let's be accurate. All right, I'll highlight y'all in the next one. Please put in the comment section how you're feeling about two of the last two days. I still believe in him. I know he's going to be a great quarterback. But these last two days, I don't know if it's injury or what. It just hasn't been up to par, all right? And we expect and need to expect better because he's not giving us anything else, and I'm cool with that. I'll holler at y'all. Fins up. You already know what it is. Till we die, we are in here. I'm out. Yeah.